Three-dimensional plots have an additional axis, Z, as you see here. The Z points are not only found on the XY axis, but also over the whole area of the XY plane. This means that the values of Z are calculated for every point in this area. For this reason, it is not enough to define XY points as in 2D plots. The X, Y, Z points for a three-dimensional plot should be prepared in the following three steps. Step one is to create the X and Y domain arrays. I call them X small and Y small. Usually, NumPy space function is used. The larger the number of points you choose, the smoother graph you will get. However, too many points may slow down the plotting process later. Regarding the three-dimensional axes you see, these X and Y points are still along the X, Y axes. In step two, we compute the values of X and Y pairs for each point in the X, Y plane. For this purpose, we use the NumPy function meshGrid, which takes the XY values and returns two arrays of the new XY points over the area of the XY plane. I call them X capital and Y capital arrays. Finally, by using the mathematical function f of x, y, we compute the values of z at each point over the xy plane. As a result, we now have all points in x, y, z coordinates, and we are ready to plot them using any 3D plot function. Although contour plots look two-dimensional, they are in reality three-dimensional plots regarding the data used to plot them. As you will see in the next lesson, plotting three-dimensional plots follows the same basic steps of plotting a contour plot. So the next step is to plot the contour by using contour function from the module PyPlot. The contour plot needs two arguments, the Z values and the number of contour levels. X capital and Y capital can be added before Z, but they are optional. The function contour plots contour lines which need numeric labels that show each level. For that purpose, it should be followed by C label. The first argument in C label is the contour object returned by the contour function. The option inline determines whether the line labels are written over the lines or within them. The option FMT formats the numbers in a similar way used in the Python print. The size of the contour line labels can be controlled by using the argument font size. Finally, we can add the axis labels and a title. Let's run the code. As you see, we got the contour plot of the equation over the area of the XY plane. There is another contour function with filled areas between levels. It is called contour F. So we add F here. Instead of the labels, we use the function called color bar. Let's run the code and see the result. So as you see here, this is another version of the contour plots, but instead of lines, we have filled areas with a scale of the values of Z over the XY plane.